thank you. Oh. <laughs> so I've been talking since I, I paused the recording then. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Uh, who's that? Jay. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, like I, 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 I started from showing you the manuals I've been doing since, you know, as from showing the manuals I've been doing, the guy will go give you the, the stop. Or only yeah. just to appreciate me, go help me to appreciate because so that you need to put value to this. You go appreciate the sleepless night. I've been here for like three days now, still packaging it. It got almost about 82 pages. So you just able to combine ideas I gather from those methods. I pay some I paid almost about five hundred dollars. Some I paid three hundred dollars. You know, uh, I didn't I didn't get the material from I mean the re direct mentorship from I got the sum of its materials. Then I paid for a TET uh, parts. What is it? The Enlightened Trader. Um, King, King, King Sofa, then another great guy, a slacketer, uh, alchemist, you know, then Saint Brian. So then he had this woman in a, it's like a, a Hannah or thereabouts, uh, in Goffin Solution, in Hannah. She really did much, much, much work on a Goffin, simply a Goffin. So then with a King Sofa, that's a King's uh, Academy. Do great work on a goffin, simply a goffin. There is no any he did it do the trailer with it, simply a goffin. So I'm gonna expose you to that uh, to that part. So in the most simplified form, uh, because most of them are very fast and in Malaysian language, but some few that uh, you know exposed the this concept in English language and you know. So I'm gonna give it to you in a simplified form. So let's go straight to the OCLC, which is uh, the, the candlestick information. I still employ you to go to my YouTube too, because so that I'll be very, I'm very fast in this so that I can cover up part of what I will have later tonight. Go to my YouTube and learn about the basic uh, understanding of uh, uh, support and resistance as taught by the Malaysian trader. Yeah. So, so that it will help us, it will help us to fast track the, the cost tonight. So I've told you that uh, basically the support and resistance level is simply trading off the, the liquidity that exists in support and resistance area. That means a uh, 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 price usually travels from price travel from, you know, support to resistance on a timely basis, on a timely basis, whether weekly or, or, or daily, whether weekly or daily or whatever. So it travels from the resistance, then facing down to support, that that's, that that's, like this, like this, like this, like this. Yeah. So this price will usually trade off the the uh, the, the resistance level, then face down to to support level. That is the basic understanding. Then, and as long as, as along the line, along the line, along the line, each time we which we we affect the direction, which we affect the direction in negative or positive way. So, if, for example, if this is a if this is a, a weekly time frame, a weekly time frame, if price is going to move in this shape, that means within that weekly time frame, we have the lower time frame that we give direction to that uh, weekly time frame. Like the, the 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 daily could be like this on that weekly time frame or monthly time frame. Why the the four hours will have multiple pullbacks and expansion more than the daily time frame. You know, all know that. Yeah, you all know that. It will have more 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 pullbacks and expansion more than. 
hundred and eighty. So that means if that if this is four hours, this is daily. Then monthly or, or weekly is going to be going to be smoother than this. Yeah. So that means what I'm, what we are trying to tell you is that uh, within a particular time frame, we need to put a particular time frame set up. There is always a what there's always a pullback, a pullback of lower time frame storyline. There's always a pullback of lower time frame uh, movement along the path of resistance and support. But each time frame must complete its course. Yeah, it must complete its course. So we'll talk about that then. Let, before we before I go, let me quickly rush the. If you are still new, if you are still new, this is simply a new concept of what most of you have been have been introduced to. Support and resistance the Malaysian way. They don't trade it the, the way. I mean, we're being taught. So that means they focus. If you are going to mark, if you are going to trade the SNR, your focus will be on the. Your focus will be on the. On the body, not. Your focus will be on the body, of a candlestick, and not the wick. Where the body closes, is what your focus is upon, not the wick. The week is being negated here. Yeah, not the week. The focus is on the body, where the body closes, rather than the week. Yeah. So this, we have this as worth as our resistance level of SNR. I use the manner, but we just go to the manner street. Use the manner, so I'd be fast. Oh. Yeah, so the focus, if you are, I mean, this is the focus is on what on the where the body closes, not the week. We are not particular about the week. If you are going to mark out your external level. We are not particularly about the week, but the where the body closes. So if you are marking the if you are marking the resistance, your focus will be the, the, the close of bullish candle. Take note. The close of bullish candle gives you the resistance area level of a SNR. Then if your if, if you if you are marking the, the support level, your focus will be on what on where the bullish I mean, the bearish candle closes. You start drawing from the close of the bearish candle, then you draw to the to the right. You draw the trend line to the right. To the right. This is a chart. This is a, this is a line chart, but this is a candlestick chart, right? You draw the trend line to the right. So your focus, I repeat, your focus is not on the weak, like we usually the conventional way of drawing uh, support and resistance. But from this, it is on on the this is not on the week, not on the week, not on the week. Hmm? Now, for example, this is a market of s &P. If you are going to draw your DC here under this, uh, under this uh, daily chart or thereabouts, that means you, you want to draw the, this is on this, let me go to go to this scattered. Network is going to. Yeah. So your focus will be on this. You draw from here. 
forward mm -hmm. to the to the to the to the right side mm -hmm. not the weak not the weak then if you happen to be the the top here you draw from the close of this bullish candlestick right can you see the close you draw it forward mm -hmm. you draw it forward so that whenever price comes in, it it taps to it it gives you attention of where the next the direction is going. That is what you need to, that's how to, to, to position yourself. So you don't particularly about the weak, but the body. Hmm? You don't particularly about the weak, but the body. So that is how to mark off your worth, your, your SNR. That's how to mark the, your SNR level. That's how to mark your SNR level. So now, tap of I've trotted about the tap of S and R now and then. God, please help me fast this. We we'll go to YouTube to see more. I talk about it. The types of S and R. We have the classical S and R. Hmm? We have the classical. Then we have the which is the most regular. The classical S and R. Then we have the. We have the. The breakout S and R. Then we have the the gap, which is now open and close. Then we have the head and shoulder pattern of S and R. Hmm? We have the shoulder part, head and shoulder pattern of S and R. Hmm? For for a breakout, this is what it took. It, it looks like this is brief, uh, sorry, S, uh, classical S and R. This is what it looks like. Hmm? This is what it looks like. Then that means the bullish candle closes up, the next one opens and closes downward. So this place creates what we call a resistance level of SNR, creates an SNR level. That when price tap into it, we draws back, it will start giving information of going down. Yeah, so this place now represents what we call the, the price rejection. There's a price rejection. You know, you see this price rejection, it tells you that the uh, price is going down, that the higher price has been rejected. So you don't you don't buy here because all this place has been raided. You don't you don't you don't buy into it. You sell at the close of this because the close will give you a confirmation. Now for support level. For support level, you are going to identify the close of this candlestick, then and the open of a new one, which is a bullish. So both of them come together to create what we mean, what we call the support level, open and close. The support level, this one closes, this one opens higher. And no, sorry, and closes higher. Then you have price tap into it, withdraws back upward. To give you a bullish trend. So this place now represents what we call the price rejection. Then we have the we have the, the gap. The gap, which is the open and close. The gap has a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of uh, implications. It has a lot of uh, listening to it. We'll go into maybe with we'll our venture of time permits, we'll go into that. That's 30 minutes ago. Oh, oh, oh. So we go into that very soon. Now, the significant point about the gap is that uh, whenever you see a gap, whenever you see a gap like this in a higher time frame, hmm, whenever you see a gap like this, which is S and R like this in a higher time frame, when you refine it, when you go down to a more lower time frame, like uh, maybe from you got a daily gap, a, 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 an open and close like this, this is two candlestick. Moving downward, then it gives you this format. Mm -hmm. Then when you go down to four hours chart, this is what it will give you. This is what it will give you. This is what it will give you. So you take note that when price, when you see, whenever you see this in the higher time frame, you are going to go lower to see the level of what of SNR very clear. In the lower time frame, 
But that is hidden in a higher time frame. Why we call it a hidden SNR? Take note of that. This is the bullish part of it, a gap. Hmm? Then we talk about the breakout, breakout, breakout. Breakout is simply, I, 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 I term it as a flipped, as a flipped SNR. That whenever price take out an SNR, hmm, it breaks out of it. Then it's going to retest back. So that means that SNR has been flipped. It has been, it has been changed. Hmm? For example, this is a, this this is a gap level. Then price break through it. Instead of tapping to it and we drop back upward, price break through it. That's a breakout. Then the next candle taps into it. Can you see it? This is four hours uh, uh, past Japanese here. The next candle taps into it when we draws back. So whenever you get that, you know, that means this support here that was formerly created has now become a resistance level. So that's what we call a flip, flip zone, flip. So that is a breakout uh, 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 SNR. Then here, for buying, it breaks out of this, this uh, gap. Then it got retested to give you a new, a new buy, right? So that's how breakout looks like. Then if it is a, a kind of a, a classical that was breaking out, that was broken, that was broken, that means to take it to it to like, like, like this. See this place here. Let me go to the chat and show you very well. So you yeah, for example, this is this is can you see that? This is a this is a SNR, a classical SNR, classical SNR, and this is this classical SNR here. It was taken out. Can you see the body of this candlestick close below it? Hmm? Then a retest to it will give you a good set. You can imagine what happens here. From this place down to this place, that's a good that's a good that's a good hit on daily on daily charts of this uh, uh this. Uh, so this is a flipped, a flipped uh, SNR. Support becomes resistance. Support becomes resistance here. Support becomes resistance. But this is what this is. Uh, this is uh, this is the this thing of it. The gap of it. It taps into it. It comes down. So please go back to that YouTube channel. So most of the time we have. have so I will move very fast. Time is far, far, fast. Uh, so those are, that, that, those are the form of types of uh, this thing we have, the common one that, you know. Then the last one I want to I want to show you on this is the, I'm running out of time, okay. This will come back again. If after 10 minutes, we'll come back again. If, if I'm going to stop out, that this will be, Short, short. So the next one we're going to have is what? And this is yes, the classical SNR in my manual. See the classical SNR? Hmm? It got broken upward. The price of test to it, then shoot higher. It got broken downward here. Price of to so it retest to it, then start coming up for sale. Hmm? So then we have the last one as uh, the, the head and shoulder pattern. The head and shoulder pattern is what I have given here. Yeah, this is it, head and shoulder pattern. Mm -hmm. So that is that. Then let's straight, let's go to the 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 touch. Yeah, please, I'm go to. I've never I've never said this. I've never uh, 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 done this in the uh, in the in the videos I've posted. Touch. What do we mean by touch? Touch is when when price come back into a particular SNR level. Taps into it. That's what we mean by touch. That's what we mean by touch. When price tap into a particular level, that's what we mean by touch. Yeah. Now, one thing the Malaysian traders did was this. Is this, I mean, one thing they did is this. Whenever you have a fresh level of, whenever you have a fresh level of, uh, of support and resistance, a fresh level, this is not a fresh level. It has been taken out. It's not a fresh level, but it's still, it's still valid because 
the price tap into it and comes down. Right? This is a fresh level. This is a fresh level. Hmm? This is a fresh level. It does not be tapped into. This is a fresh level of support and resistance. It has not been, it has not been touched. Hmm? A level that has not been broken at all, either by a week of a candle or the body. It's what we call free. it's what we mean by fresh level. This one has been broken by the body. Hmm? This one has been taken out by the week. So this quest become what it becomes fresh. I mean, sorry, it, it's, it's not that fresh. But whenever the body comes in again and take it out, it becomes what it becomes fresh. Hmm? Like this place now. This place is a fresh. This this gap that was taken out by this body become fresh, fresh as an arrow. But anytime a week, instead of the body, if the week happens to be the touch more fit, it's no longer fresh. That means liquidity that has been grabbed out of that place. But whenever the body closes or breaks out of it, it becomes another fresh SNR. Like for example, here, like for example here, you know, this week took out this, this level of SNR, it become, it become a fresh. But later on, we have the body that took it out. Can you see it? It become fresh again as it, as it was taken out by this body. Then you are going to look at the price tapping to it to move higher. So that's what we mean by fresh. Maybe you hear that, uh, maybe you were like, what is fresh and what is unfresh? This is fresh because the body takes out the this place here is, is, is fresh, not the weak. If it happens to be weak, that means it's not fresh. So like this place, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not fresh. Hmm? But you can see the price tap into this. So just get that. Then the, about the touch, about the touch, there's what they call the, the miss. M-I-S-S, -S. M -I -S -S, the miss. Miss is simply when you have a space instead of this place now, for example, this place, a breakout of this place now. Hmm? Can you see this breakout? This is a breakout, right? A breakout of this place. Hmm? There is no, the body, the, 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 the candle comes in, this is an aggressive move by this, by, 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 by this candle to break through this level. It's an aggressive move. There was no, there was no, no candlestick in between the, this place and the breakout. It was a direct breakout, a single, we call it a single candle breakout, a single candle breakout. Hmm? So there is no miss between this and this. So the, 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 the Malaysian, the Malaysian defined miss as what? The Malaysian you define this as a as 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 a, as a candle that exists between an SNR level and the touch of that particular level. For example, this place now we have this place as a miss. This is a miss candle because it, why 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 is it considered as a miss candle? Because the wick does not tap into the into the SNR level. So this will become a, a, a miss. So it's so significant than a single candle breakout. Take note of that. It's the demand. I will take, I really do much about this in, in the manner. Yeah. So take note of that. Take note of that. Fresh level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is it in the manner. So a miss is according to Malaysian trader, it's a space between S on that point and, and, and reason. This place now is a single with this is a single candle touch, a single candle touch. But here we have this candlestick with a wick that does not touch this level before we get this first touch of this uh, S on our level. So this will become a miss. So this is what this guy Arif 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 T or thereabout discovered. And he, that would be fantastic. So significant. This is a single candlestick, a, a breakthrough, without it, without a miss, right? But here, this is a single candle breakthrough. 
without a without a means. So take note of take note of that. Here you see the, all this all this area. This this the space here that exists here between this S and R and this touch here is what we call means. This is what we call means. Then again, if you are if you are if you are taking your touch of a of an SNR level or a tap into, you must consider the shadow, which is the weak of a candle, not the body. If the body touches a level, is invalid touch. According to the Malaysian, is invalid touch. We want a weak, a weak. What do what, what do we want? We weak represent price rejection. Less than two minutes. We'll come back again, please. Less than two minutes. So I'm a bit tired. So a week represent price ejection. So we want a week to tap into it and withdraw back. That is what you need. It, it validates an SNR level. It confirms the setup, a good setup. If a body taps into it and it does not have a week, it does not come up with it. Please don't, don't take it as what well as your touch. It is an invalid. That is the rule. That is the rule for this. Uh, this is, that is the rule. Don't take it as a touch. That for example, this place, this is a touch, this is a touch. Because can you see the it, it close below it? It withdraws back below the resistance level. This place withdraws back below, below the resistance level. That's a touch, a good touch. You can see the price move down. This place, it, 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 it closed below with a wig. Well, later it was taken out. This place, hmm, can you see it? It was taken. It, it was taken upward. Please note that. Note that. Very very important. So I don't be here put and say uh, because you any boy anyone that can, like this place tap into this place now. It's not a touch. This is a good touch. Why well, this is not a touch? A body where a body rests upon a, a support or resistance is not a touch. Hmm? It confirms a wave, a kind of volume. There's still volume in that place, but here there's no volume. The volume has been withdrawn back. So take note of that. So then the missed top of it is that uh, you want you if you are very you want to confirm the this thing very well, you wait for you wait for for your this to get a miss. A miss. If you want to come for for a single candlestick uh, uh, touch, that is very, very aggressive type of a uh, type of a confirmation. Mm -hmm. Because 